Hi, Jo. Hi, Jazz. Can you tell me what your job in the hospital is? I'm a pathology collector. A pathology? Wow, that sounds interesting. What's a pathology and where do you collect them? We don't actually collect pathology. Pathology is a way of seeing what's happening inside your body. Oh. And we do this by collecting blood. Cool. So pathology collectors are part of the laboratory team. So if you were taking my blood, what would you do with it? Well, we firstly would take your blood into a tube and that tube must have your name on mm -hmm. and it must be spelt correctly and have your date of birth. That's very important. Is that so you don't mix it up with someone else's? That's exactly right. And then we would put it into a canister mm -hmm. and that canister goes to the laboratory through the pneumatic tube that runs through the hospital. Whoa, that sounds really cool. It is. So what can doctors tell by looking at my blood? Well, the doctors can tell a lot about your health and they can see what's happening inside your body. They can tell whether you've been um, eating the right foods and mm -hmm. you're getting all your vitamins. Yeah. And they might be able to tell if there's something in your blood that's making you feel sick, maybe a germ. Right. If you're feeling very sick, they might be able to try and help you to find out what's making you sick and how to make you better. So how do you take the blood? We mm -hmm. can do it by heel puncture for, mm -hmm. for babies mm -hmm. and when you get older we can do a finger puncture. So we use a lancet to do that. Right. I've got one here. Wow that's kind of cute. It is. And then when we puncture the skin mm -hmm. yeah, we put the blood into these little bottles or tubes. So that's just for a little amount of blood? That is. That's when we only need a small amount of blood. But if we need a little bit more blood mm -hmm. we might take it using a butterfly. A butterfly? That's right. It doesn't make sense. I know, it does sound strange, but we don't use the butterflies that fly around in the sky. We oh. use these butterflies. Oh, it does look like a butterfly. It does, yes. So where does the butterfly go? The butterfly would go into in your arm, mm -hmm. so just into a little vein in your arm. If I need lots of blood tests, would I run out of blood? No, Jazz. We only take just the amount of blood that we need. But you know, your body is very clever. It's always making new blood. Really? Yes, it makes it in the big bones, in the bone marrow, the big bones in your body. So in your legs and in your arms. Wow, that's really cool to know. Does having a blood test hurt? Well, some children say it feels a little bit like a scratch or a pinch on your arm. Mm -hmm. There's lots of things we can do to make it easier for you. Firstly, when you're a baby, we can give you sucrose. Mm -hmm. Wow. So sucrose is a sweet liquid mm -hmm. and it helps to distract the babies so they're not so worried about what we're doing. Is that because it just tastes so nice? It does, it <laughs> tastes yummy. For bigger kids we have angel cream. And what does angel cream do? Angel cream makes your skin go numb so that means you can't feel the little scratch that um, the butterfly makes on your arm. That sounds really good. Mm. So it goes onto this patch yeah. and then goes onto your arm. It's quite shiny. It is very shiny. Another way we can help is by using Buzzy. Have you heard of Buzzy? Wow, no, what's Buzzy? So Buzzy goes onto your arm. When we turn it on, it makes a buzzing sound and you can wow. feel how it vibrates. Wow, that's, yeah. that's a bit ticklish, but I it like it. It is a bit ticklish and it goes onto your arm and it changes the way you feel things mm -hmm. on your arm. So you don't feel the scratch so much. That's great. Other things we can use are iPads or tablets cool. or your phone. Yeah. So I've got my iPad here yeah. and you could maybe watch a video mm -hmm. or maybe listen to some music. Yeah. Older children love to listen to music on their phones so that they can switch off and pretend they're not here yeah. and really relax. What can I do to help make having a blood test easier? I think the most important thing you can do is stay really still. Right. And this often helps by sitting maybe on mum or dad's knee, if mm -hmm. you like, and they can give you a, a nice secure cuddle. Yeah. And I think it makes you feel safe. Yeah. Yeah. And keeping still helps make it go a bit faster too, right? It does. It makes our job much easier and it's over a lot faster. Excellent. Jo, thank you so much for telling me all about pathology collection today. You're welcome, Jazz. It's great to know there are so many ways we can make blood tests easier and I know exactly what I'm going to do next time I need a blood test. That's great. We look forward to seeing you. Bye. Bye.